Nature, the phenomena of the physical world collectively, including plants, animals, the landscape, and other features and products of the earth, as opposed to humans or human creations. The basic or inherent features of something, especially when seen as characteristic of it. Beautiful man. You, know, you have no idea, man. How do you drop a pen in your hand? This shit hard. Facts. This shit hard, man. Nature is beautiful, man. That's why I always shoot in nature. Cause this shit is beautiful. Natural beauty. Can't beat it. You know? And the thing is, man, with this shit is we just really advancing, taking this shit up a notch with what we doing, man. Ain't no more basic shit, man. This shit done. Shit over with. This is how important this shit is, man. Like, just everything. I mean, the, the best thing about this shit is is just taking pictures of this shit because this is all a part of what the fuck the campaign rollout is going to be, you know? Yeah, man. This is where we at with it now. This is how we doing this shit now. This is how we doing this shit now. My man, Mr. Rosewood on the camera and shit. My name is Tashan Jamat, known as Sean Rosewood, and I am a graphic designer from Indianapolis, Indiana. I've been doing graphic design for about 12 years, and I've been doing graphics for St. Avenue for about three years. And my role with this network project is, I am a graphic designer, and I am also shooting the footage for this documentary. I reached out to Sean on IG about three years ago. He had created cover art for this music artist that was too crazy. From the beginning, it's been pretty much a collaborative effort in regards to graphic design. I'm very detailed and specific on the work I put out. He's quick and consistent at meeting deadlines, so it meshes perfectly. Our relationship is more like a brotherhood and I think that shows up in our work. A lot of the work that we've produced has been completely out of the norm for what he usually creates. I love Sean like he's my family, and I would definitely say he's an intricate part of St. Avenue. He's certainly one of them ones, and I can confidently say he's someone I can count on. Nature walks, nature talks with St. Ave. The area might be broken, but I'm gonna need a nigga down here. Oh me, you can hate me now, but I won't stop now. <laughs> this is beautiful, bro. Yeah, St. Avenue on that new shit now. <laughs> Saint Avenue, you upgrade now. <laughs> Saint Avenue, you new now. Yeah, yeah. How many niggas you know do this? Do this? Just a just to scout the photo shoot location. You feel me? This shit all take work, man. All this shit take work. <laughs> hey, this shit jiggy as hell, bro. We found it. We found it. 
found the low. We found the low at this point. But just the energy, man, that like nature give you, man, like the energy, bro, this shit listens to you, bro. Nature listen to you, bro. Like, you can come out here and talk to this shit, bro. Nature answers everything. If you don't got an ID, I bet you got one now. If you ain't come out here with an ID, I bet you got one now. And this shit crazy, like I don't even know if you can really tell. But nigga, I'm happy as hell right now, bro. Like I'm in a good ass spot mentally. I feel good, bro, getting the exercise in and shit too, low key. Like, I just feel good, bro. I'm genuinely like happy, nigga. Like, if it was one of them things, we'd be like, nigga, have you ever seen that nigga at his happiest, nigga? This is it, bro, on God. Like, it might not show all the way, but nigga, I'm happy internally. I feel good, bro. Like, I feel really good. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's going on with you, bro? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, man. Let's get some work in and shit, bro. I miss your call. What's going on? I'm good. Okay, so a couple things. One, that person from, uh, responded. Um, they want to hop on a Zoom. But I think like, they might be having some technical difficulties. Yeah, most definitely. Um, depending on what my schedule looks like, um, on Monday, I'll let you go ahead and take that Zoom call, bro. How you feel about oh, cool. that? Yeah, I totally feel comfortable doing that. My guy Dylan is relentless. He reached out for about a year to intern for St. Avenue. He actually wasn't the first to reach out, but I'm very selective on who I bring around my baby. So it took a little time for me to approve the internship. We made the internship official this spring, and he's one of those people who just gets it. And most definitely a person I will go to war with. He's done a lot for the brand in a short period of time. This kid definitely has a bright future. And Lord willing, he can continue his endeavors with St. Avenue. Was it about the paint? You know how you text me about that? Um, yeah. Are you talking about like in Bloomington we paint or is that something else? Okay, so the company uh, that I wanted you to reach out to was uh, They're off of uh, yeah. off of and I just wanted you to reach out to them um, in regards to us just kind of putting St. Avenue names on the wall um, and the website, nothing too crazy, um, nothing out the way, just pretty much a, a black wall with the name in white and the website in white um, on the side of the wall. Like, and we can do it for a couple weeks, just try to get some prices if they do have prices for that. Okay, perfect, I'll just reach out and ask them like, just the rundown, how much it would cost, and just like if they're willing, or just all the stuff I normally do. All right, no, nah, good deal, man. Yeah, so um, I will talk to you on Saturday for sure, and then we can go from there on like everything that we're gonna do moving forward with uh, and everything, and just some of the ideas that we have uh, for and some things I was thinking about. So I'll get that information stuff to you Saturday, and we can go from all right, there. Man. All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll I'll call you back Saturday. All right, man. Good deal, man. Thank you so much, bro. We making some uh, some trip, so that's of course, good. Man. Of course, man. Have a great time. All right, man. You too, bro. All right. Peace. I would say my gift is finding beauty in things that most people don't even know exist. I feel that that unveils a whole different layer of St. Avenue and the things that we produce. Stress-free run. This is what I do to relieve my stress, you dig? This is my activity. This is my activity outside of St. Avenue. I done fell in love with running. With the weight bus on, 20 pounds, baby, let's get it. Should I feel like working out? It's really a 
big part of what I do. It helps me a lot. Keeps me focused. Keep me stress free. I could just let my mind go. I listen to whatever. Beethoven. I listen to all type of shit. But I feel like as a designer, as a creator, in general, I feel that this has to be a part of your whole creative process. I feel like working out, running, jogging, you know, hiking in nature, and it definitely helps me in my creative process. I wouldn't change this shit for the world. It's like, being obese is hard. Being physically fit is hard. Being broke is hard. Being rich is hard. Shit. What hard you want? I'm going for the hard that's gonna make me better. I'm going for the hard that's gonna make me a better man. I'm going for the hard father. I'm going for the hard that's going to make me a better designer. And most importantly, I'm doing this shit to feel good. Yeah, that's why St. Avenue stay in his own fucking lane. shit is a lot dog like that shit is a lot man and i know like i really be getting on her motherfucking nerves sometimes but it's all good though because at the end of the day she know that i'm a motherfucker with vision man and that's all i'm uh that's all i'm here to do man is get that vision out bro at the end of the day get that vision out do that work and the thing is like she always tell me she be like you the only person that i ever do this shit for bro like because nigga a lot of the shit that go on in there bro it like it can't get done bro that's the shit you have to go overseas to do bro but like she is willing to do whatever it is bro she like sometimes it kind of pissed me off a little bit because she will be like nah we can't do this we gotta do that and i'll be like but did you try though? You know what I mean? But then at the other then on the other hand of the shit it'd be like, alright, she see how like persistent I am and how consistent I am and how much business I bring them to that she's willing to go the extra mile for your boy. And I appreciate that on God. Like she uh she she dope as hell, man. She dope as hell, bro. And the, and the work always come on top tier, man. That's why I like I continue to fuck with them. Anybody can be 
a boss. Anybody can appoint themselves to a boss, bro. You can start a business. Oh, yeah, I'm a boss. I'm a boss and shit. And they bringing in no revenue. You feel what I'm saying? They doing shit. You know what I mean? I usually don't speak on this. But my goal is not to be the biggest or best clothing brand in Indiana. My goal is to be the best clothing brand in the world. I'm in my own lane, bro. I play my own game, dog. Like, don't shit pressure me, bro. Don't nobody bother me. I don't feel like nobody on my neck, man. Or none of that shit. I just be like, damn, you know. A lot of the time that I've been gone, I would have thought some epic shit would have been happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I'm on a delay. You know, but the only motherfuckers I really be looking at is the big dogs, man. I'm trying to follow them. Trying to be neck to neck with them. You feel me? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Believe that shit. You feel me? The opportunity with Network had come about in October of 2021. Um, I'll never forget. I was in my hotel in Toronto when I got the email, and it pretty much said that my brand would be a good fit to showcase on their platform. And honestly, I thought it was a bogus email, not because I'm not confident in my work, but because the industry doesn't look at fashion coming out of Indiana. I wanted to take my time with this project because I'm introducing St. Avenue to a brand new audience. I began the process of designing back in March of this year, and the goal was to release it in the summer of 2022. I scrapped the first collection because it simply didn't tell a story and it was all over the place. It is important to me as I continue to grow, not only as a brand, but as a person. It's imperative that the art I put out into the world has substance and is intentional. Thoughtfulness, storytelling, and impact is the heart of St. Avenue. Just got into the yeah. crew necks this year, sure. bro. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're gonna put this fit on. Let me know what you need me to do, bro. To hold something out here for you, or you want me to get to you one step at a time. Don't nobody no sense of you changing back. Woo, woo, woo. Just put them on for the whole shoot. So you good. You ain't gotta worry about switching out or whatever. Man, again, I appreciate everybody showing up. This is everybody now, for sure, so I appreciate y'all again for making it out here. It's cold as fuck, but, you know, <laughs> we'll get this shit done. Right. On the pants, yeah. When you envision this site being captured, do you envision, like, a lot of this area, or just, like, really, so really right here, bro, because okay. there's a lot of that, like, green. That's on that jacket, that's on this wall, like, Okay. You see what I call it? Really should be back. That's a smooth photo on itself. Yeah, I know. I just like, bro, stand right here. I just want to kind of get this vision and shit. So, like, a lot of this is all in there, and I want to kind of capture that shit. Okay. So, you know, with the essence with the fit and everything. And I got another fit in that color, which is in black, but I'm going to shoot that on the other side. Oh, right. Yep. And I'm going to keep that on probably until we get over there because there's some nice ass rocks, bro. Hey. That he can just, like, he's in a mountain and shit, so it's going to be nice. Man, that's yeah. Man, man no, nah, that's crazy, bro. Like, I'm excited, man, to be working with somebody from the crib, too, bro. That shit's yeah, fucking absolutely. bananas, bro. Like, that's lit. Yeah, so I got my how you tuck the chain in. Okay. I got, I'm going to try this other chain on you real quick. Forward, yeah. You can, uh, yeah, you can fix this shit. Fix it to your liking, bro. You can do okay. that too. I've got the colors in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the second photo shoot Troy has modeled for St. Avenue. True professional and does this modeling shit effortlessly. He's a pleasure to work with and bro shares the same love for fashion as I do. And he definitely kept his composure in that cold ass weather. Hmm. Does this hat look like anything tight? No, you look decent. Right. Yeah. How it feel? Do it feel? Alright. 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 Alright.
Oh fuck, forgot the service is shitty out here. You know how to pose, just, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta do nothing too crazy, bro. You can stay in there, you know, the straight, hands down to the side, whatever. Yeah, okay, I'll leave. Yeah, do it for you, yeah. Long as you, uh, how you trying to lean? I was just like, if I just did something like this. So. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you, my G. I swear to God, man. You yeah. make the shit look yeah, so easy. I know. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did a decent amount of planning here. Yeah, man. Thanks. <laughs> but it hadn't even come out as soon as I like. So when you, I got this. you buy a camera right after it comes out, no matter what size. Sometimes I like to li listen to what people say about it. You know? I wait. Oh, I wait. Just like my G. Like I had to. Too Canada. easy, man. I shot Canada Too actually, fucking easy, right bro. Right before this, for. All of my this, this, this I shot a 5D Mark III. No, you keep that on. Um, oh, well, how you keep I that one? Yeah. In that ended up selling those, like a little undervalued for to get this guy. But I initially was told that I had like a project that was going to cause it's going to pay me pretty big. They're like, oh, we need you to like, you know, do mostly videos with one photo too. Um, so it made sense to like make the switch and by the time you know, like I said, buddy, we can't pay you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have you over. Yeah, the worst thing is like it was my agent who, like, I'm through a photography agency where they go. And they oh, you guys can cut through here? Are you guys trying to get a rent? Cut through here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most people love the finished product, and those people are typically consumers. Then you have those who love the process, and those people are typically the creators. I'm more connected to all of the elements that execute the vision more than the finished products. Falling in love with the process is just as pivotal. And I'd be lying if I say it didn't take a while to get to this point. I'm not Yeah, I know this 
That's what I'm thinking, but we could we could we could go through here actually because I'm over I was looking at this and this right here. Yeah. Nah, bro, like seeing through here. Let me let me look real quick over here. Yeah, this like this area over here last. Once we're finishing up, we can just hop over here. Okay. We're not in the way of people and shit. So we can just start shooting right here on this side and then finish up. Okay. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> yeah, you want me to do the reflector thing up here at all? Uh, hey, you, hey, do you need him to do the reflector up here? Or? Um, I can get, go down there too. I might not need it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll hold off for a second. Alright. I'm going to go over there real quick. I'll come right back. Okay. You guys need to <laughs> they had a boost on cowboy boots on this crazy looking shit then we come through with the ones and all type of shit and then switch right. it all up. It's like that fine line between like streetwear and then like streetwear at like its most basic form. Right. I had shed a few tears on the drive to this photo shoot because I'm grateful for every opportunity and to have a wonderful group of people rooting for me to win. I'm extremely blessed. I love being surrounded by genuine energy. The right team can alleviate a lot of stress that comes with this shit. And I don't take any of that for granted on God. Nice. Yeah, I feel good. Again, uh, or sorry, and then give me a profile um, if your body facing that direction. I want to get on that side. In order for me to stay locked in and engaged, is to compete with myself, you know? Outdo the last project. It keeps me sharp, and I'm constantly learning and thinking outside the box. I used to complain about not having the tools to succeed or living in a major city. But once I changed my outlook on how I view certain things, I quickly learned that all the resources I needed were already surrounding me. I just have to utilize them to create my reality. This location is just as vital as the clothing. The natural beauty that nature provides is unmatched. The entire collection was derived from this location. I love shooting in nature because one, it's a fucking vibe. And two, it doesn't charge you to use this backdrop. You only get one life. We take so much for granted. It's important to live in a moment and to not get caught up in past discretions or think so heavily about the future because we can't predict that. Only now is real. And I thank you all for joining me in the moment. We are all dreamers and it's okay to be scared or nervous. It only means you care. I was so close to scrapping this documentary, but I felt I would have done myself a disservice by not releasing it. I don't care if this documentary inspires one person. At least I changed one life. With wisdom comes learning to celebrate all wins, big or small. And until I die, it's fuck it, we ball. St. Avenue forever. Man, cool shit. Um, nah, fucking rewind on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Oh, you can still cut and edit yeah, shit. Oh, no, definitely, dude. We Gucci. So, um, whoa, the bands, the bands, whoa, 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 <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I'll do the honors. Hey, my man. Ooh, what's that? Hey, this blooper shit, bro. Don't... <laughs> this blooper shit. This, this ain't going on the dock. But this is. This that guy. Nigga. Yeah, man. I, 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 didn't risk, I didn't risk my life. Hmm? Oh, oh, I could have I could, I could died feeling the water. No, you wouldn't, bro. I, I had to, G. You wouldn't have to drown in that damn pool of water. Almost died. Oh, oh, oh. Save me. Somebody save me. Hey, Taiwan ass was over there looking like shit. Maybe I can go this way. And go that way. <laughs> Close ass over here about to drown. Close ass looking like shit. Maybe if I just go this way, I'll go out. Alright, but. <laughs> oh, man. Good man.
that that could have been the end of uh, a Sean Rosewood that night that day. What'd you say? I said that could have been that could have been the end of Sean Rosewood. My, my, my life flashed before my eyes, man. Nigga was scared to say I thought that shit was deep. That shit was two feet. <laughs> <laughs> Spokes ass was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, we gonna release the bloopers on another time, nigga. Yeah, bitch. Get the bloopers. Motherfucker, y'all don't know that we super. Uh, about to blow that smoke. We don't give a fuck about what you choke on. But bitch, you can choke on a dick. Bitch, you can choke on a dick.